96-92 was how that game finished, which means that the Rivers didn't make it very easy. No. So I guess now that we're down here, we have the eagerness of the Horizon team to stay on top, and we have the dedication and hopefulness of the Rivers to try and get their first win. Well, guess what? Brown questioning the referee. But but it was Calhoun, I thought the ball touched in the number 15 white shirt, was on the line. His foot was on the line. So yes, they have turned around that decision. So Horizon in the red. Brown goes by Calhoun. Oh, ho, ho. And a two-handed jam from the big man Brown. Brown is saying, listen, I'm in town. A steal. Having that one down. Oh, my word to what? Oh, 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 oh. Brown and White. <laughs> Are you kidding me? The two big men on the court for the horizon have started out in a positive slam dunk way. A full 2-2-1 two, two, press. Parker. Oh, Parker again. It's blocked by Brown. Going towards the rim. Can he finish? Yes, he can. Maynard finishing coast to coast. Shufford. Bounce past the Parker inside to Otley. Otley using his left hand to fend off his defender. Turning is Otley and backing off the glass. Is this going to be an open play, though? Open game? It seems that way. But uh, make no mistake about it. Horizon seem like a team dedicated to uh, stamping their name on this game. Bobby Gray swings it to White. Bounce pass inside. They're going to take Woods. advantage of that as much as they can. Back to Woods. Inside, this to White who backed it home. Brilliant passing this from Horizon and great movement for White to cut to the rim. Great overall offensive setup by the Horizon team. Three point by Parker, rebounded by White. Woods to Maynard, dishes out for Bobby Gray for three. That's an air ball collected under the rim by Brown, being harassed by Calhoun. Dishes outside to Gray for his second try. This time he hits the rim and he goes outside. It will be Horizon's ball. Shufford tried to get to it, couldn't quite control it and knocked it out of bounds. But as I said, this Horizon team is ready to uh, make a run. Let's see how far they can run and how fast they can run. Can you run? I, of course I can run. Yes, you can. Yeah. Run like Humpty Dumpty? <laughs> <laughs> run like molasses? <laughs> I think the latter would suit you more. <laughs> They're doing some adjustment to the rim. Shows you the leaping ability of Shufford and the strength. He just shifted the rim. Oh, the thumbs up from the referee. Chris but obviously Richards. it was the, the two dunks from White and Brown that moved it out of place in the first place. Indeed. Referee Christopher Richard. Then you see Michael Johnson walking and into the again, picture. Again, I would say not related to the track star. Uh, two pointer from Maynard. Shufford now swings it to Otley, who's attacking the ring with his left hand, banking home. Bobby Gray. This is outside the arc. Woods. Maynard inside to Brown going against Calhoun and that's a foul of Calhoun he's getting the better of Calhoun at the present time so that's what I said they're going to take advantage of that that's a, a mismatch right there because of the speed and strength of Brown against Calhoun Brown is going to win that every time taking nothing away from the uh, defense of Calhoun but he just can't keep up with Brown. Oh, they're not looking at White high off the glass. That's banking home. Everyone was sleeping. Except White. Except White. Bounce pass between the two players. Otley behind the back. 
Swings it to Black. Dishes to Parker for three. Oh, the ball tipped away by Otley. Otley for the Rivers goes around one, use the baseline, can't finish. He's blocked by Brown, actually. But it came off between Calhoun and Parker. Both our teammates went for the ball and went between both hands, went outside for Horizon's ball. Yes, it did, but Brown playing both ends of the floor early in this game. As he always does, he never disappoints where that is concerned. He's never the type of player that seems to lose focus and stop playing. I'm hearing you, and I'm agreeing with you. No, I, I, was, I was waiting to see what the referee was saying. Okay, I thought you were waiting on me to add to something to that, to the spice. No. Uh, Christopher <laughs> Richards. Gives the ball to Bobby Gray, carries it up court. Bobby Gray. Dominant last season, MVP, went to the left. Oh, float inside, looking for Brown for the alley-oop. Bounce pass going the other way. Otley behind the back, trying to get the better of White. He did just that by backing home. But now Bobby Gray off to the races. Maynard, bounce pass inside, spinning is Brown and can't finish. Brown is feeling it. He was feeling it. Lobbed out to Otley all alone. Ha <laughs> ha, snuck behind there. Got that in. And just it, like that, it's only a two-point lead. And a timeout taken. It's a timeout taken by Horizon. Coach Mr. Morgan Ball. has seen enough of that. Not happy at all. Taking their time like they're walking on crutches, coming back in the fence. <laughs> they must be not the happy camper at all. Well... That blazing start by Horizon kind of gave them that confidence and uh, they started to uh, lose focus for a second. Coach Morgan not allowing it to run too far. And Coach Barker, well, he's got something to feel good about because this is exactly what happened in the, the game before. The first game with Horizon versus the Rivers, the, oh, except that the Rivers had the upper hand in the early part of the game. And then Horizon came back and just took it over. Now, Rivers are a little bit behind, but they're still coming back, storming in this first quarter. So let's see what can happen if they can continue that flow and keep the river flowing uh, to uh, stem the tide of the blazing suns of the horizon. But I'm liking what I'm seeing from White. White is playing a lot more aggressively and actually finishing and getting points on the board. Yeah. I'm agreeing with you wholeheartedly there. Brown is doing his usual. Brown is in town. As much as I can say to that. Two-point differential between the Rivers and Horizon. Horizon leading in this first quarter. Bobby Green, pull-up jumper. Does not make it, though. Rebounded by Shepard. Parker carries the ball forward. For the Rivers. As options left and right, the pick set. Michael Hoon dishes outside to Shepard. Puts the ball on the floor. Inside, Calhoun back outside. To back. Black bounce pass by Black inside to Parker. Can't finish. Bobby Gray sings it right down to Woods. Puts the ball on the oh! floor. The left hand jam by Woods. <laughs> It's a slam party. Four points for Woods. Put up jumper from Shufford. Does not make it. A oh, steal by Parker. Goes forward. And attacking Brown. He's fouled by Brown. He'll shoot two. Brown seems like he's not getting up. What happened there? He felt awkward. He's still on the, the floor. Ooh, not what you want to see. We hope he's okay. Mm. So the big man going across as Lawrence, his teammate. And telling. It would have to be some kind of a tweak to the left leg, it seems. Or is it the right leg? 
are you a television doctor? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my word. Man is grimacing in pain, though. And they're hoping it's cramps. It could be, but at the start of the game, just before they took the floor, he was getting his, his, his legs and stuff stretched. So I know he shouldn't be too, too badly um, not warmed up. He should be warmed up enough. Coach Morgan going over to take a look, see what happened. Well, they have to make a decision soon. Will Lawrence be coming in for Brown as they stretch his left leg? And what they'll do, though, is stretch a muscle at the back of the leg and the thigh. So he has to actually have some water because sometimes, if it is cramps, yeah, water could be needed. Uh, I'm not sure if it's cramps or not, but he hobbles Limping away. on the left leg, but it seems like he did have some kind of complaint for both legs. You thought he had complaint for both legs? His left leg was stretched out. His right leg was bent, relaxed, and you think he had problems with both legs? Yeah, he was complaining about you both legs. You are not a good television doctor at all. He was complaining for both legs. Uh, if you say so. Let's go back to the game. <laughs> <laughs> well, Brown is out. I think Lawrence is in. Yes, he is. The big man Lawrence replaces Brown. Hope he's okay, though. Parker with the first. Does not make it. While we hope that Brown is okay, we know that the Horizon won't be losing much in that matchup of Lawrence versus Calhoun. Mm -hmm. Doesn't make the second, rebounded and by the man who just came in, Lawrence. There you see the effectiveness. He's continuing where Brown left off. Oh, yes, he is. Maynard, been harassed by Hammond. Goes by Hammond. Attacks Calhoun. Calhoun's hand is there. That's a block by Calhoun. Parker dishes to Otley under the rim, who banks in. Cash is in. You heard the cash ready so while ago? I heard it. Thought money was coming your way. Well, we can always a hope. three from Bobby Gray air ball. Bobby says somebody hit his elbow. The, the uh, defender hit his elbow. Which is what threw his shot off. So when you tell a referee that yeah. next time out, they'll be if they miss that call, if it was a call, yeah, they'll be more attentive, alert. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes, like the players, referees can get lost in a game. Gotcha. Ham yeah, you saw Hammond, Hammond makes that turnover. Well, Barry's Hammond's son, though, pointed out by good my good friend CC. No respect. <laughs> <laughs> and you could you could bounce pass inside to Lawrence who can't handle it from White. And when that would Hammond be second goes by one. Oh no, it's not happening for Hammond at the present time. Maynard bounce block. pass to White and a turnover. But when, when I say no respect though, could be two persons uh -huh. up to mind. Okay. One, First one is being Barris Hammond. Hammond. The other is Rodney Dangerfield. Well, there you go. Uh, Showing your age there. <laughs> when he passed you know, years I'm ago. pretty sure that 90% of the persons who are listening to you right now have no idea who Rodney Dangerfield is. Oh, come on. Or was, I should oh, say. Oh, come on. Hammond. Hartley thought about a three. Went around white. Turns beautifully inside. And back nice. home. That was well-timed. Brilliant execution from Otley. Otley looked pretty good on that play. Working a little hard just to get two points, though, but uh, still two points on the board. Maynard. Went up against Hammond. A three from Maynard. Yes, he hits it. Sweet and dandy. Parker facing up is Bobby Gray goes by Bobby Hits. Gray and he's fouled again. Lawrence Ooh. hits the floor hard. Bodies flying. Bodies flying. 
Parker will shoot two. So just a reminder, though, I had to look for my good friend, CC, just a reminder who Rodney Dangerfield is. I know who Rodney Dangerfield <laughs> is. I'm saying the person's listening to you now, they don't have a clue. No, come on. It's a great comic. Don't say that. If y'all know who Rodney Dangerfield is, put it, put, 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 put something up on the chat. Everyone knows who Rodney Dangerfield <laughs> is. Not because he died a few years ago. He has some good movies. Yeah. It is. He's a in pretty, pretty good comedian. It is. Yeah, it is. Okay. Do you know what? You know what years we're in right now? No, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Parker, Mrs. Both. Rebounded, Quite Watley oddly. wanted a rebound, but could not gather. But Gray comes along and comes away with it. Oh, almost stolen from Blackhall for the foul. What year are we in, though? Was he a good comic or not? Black was called for that foul. I said that early on. I just <laughs> wanted to repeat that. <laughs> Was he a good comic or not? He was a great comic. Okay, good. Thompson I, in. I did say that as well. Oh, I don't remember you saying that, though. All you're talking about his age. Maynard. Oh, slipping is Maynard. And a steal by Parker. Well tied by Parker. And he finishes easy off the glass to, to bring the score by one. Rivers hunting their first win in the tournament. But if they win here tonight, they'll be playing each other in the semi-final. Thompson, the three-point specialist. Brought in a little bit early. A jumper. Had to rush the shot, though, because the clock was winding down. Hartley. Turning away from his defender. Oh, yes. Marker and floating home. Otley means misses tonight. Is this the opening day Otley that had 41 points? Could be. Thompson. Dishes outside. Liz for the big man who served the hits home. Lawrence gets two on the board. Hall on the floor for the rising in number 30 jersey. Parker puts the ball on the floor. Quickly, no look pass to Calhoun. Was taken away. Maynard comes away with it. Goes by Hammond and off the glass. And Lawrence coming in, trying to take it and slam it home. Could not handle it. Otley attacking the rim and finishing. As the Rivers, they take the lead. They lead by one. Hall, number 30 jersey. Bobby Gray is, is on the bench. You know if Bobby Gray is on the bench, his fingers are not well at the present time. Hammond comes away with it inadvertently, finding Otley, who dishes home and the foul. Oh, yes. A chance for a three point play. Otley is feeling it. Horizon, they are the defending champions, though. Sutherland coming into the game. So, too, McFarlane. They started like a runaway train. And all of a sudden, they're looking at a three-point lead by the opponent team. Maynard does not look comfortable at all in number five jersey, sitting beside Woods. Lawrence on the floor, McFarlane, number one jersey, Hall, number 30, Sutherland, 23. You may not be able to see it now, but Brown just went back to sit on his bench, and he's still looking a little ginger, gingerly in his movements. A rebound, big rebound, you may say. Hammond for three. That's an air ball, though. Coming off the hand of Johnson. We're in number 34 jersey. For the Rivers. Hall carries the ball of court. Dishes off. On the side. Oh, a turnover. This by McFarlane. 
recovers for Lawrence, back to McFarlane. And he gives it away again. Oh, my goodness. He wasn't satisfied with the first, so he gave it away the second, second time. <laughs> Hall, no look pass. Finding Sutherland, it slips out of his hand. However, it's going to be Horizon's ball. No, it is River's ball because it's out of Sutherland's ball. hand. Wow. Where are the pot covers when you need them? Well, they're, I think they're, they're arresting them for Friday for the semifinals. Going around one and trying to go around the other, trying to carry it home was Gordon. Is on the court. Being aggressive is Gordon. Playing the summer league was impressive in the summer league. Yes, hasn't he was. played as much in the this is winter no, edition. He, hasn't. he didn't play in the last game at all. Well, he has added some, they can call it now, some rediments to his hair. <laughs> Always had the, the Afro hairstyle. That has certainly changed with a, twi with a twist. <laughs> So his hair has changed with a twist. Yeah, the hair has changed with a twist. Mm, I've seen the first. The thing is now, the new rule, when I was having a chat with the referees, new rule for a technical mm -hmm. is that you get to shoot the technical, yeah. and the team that had the ball has the ball. Oh. And if it's deemed as unsportsmanlike behavior, which happened in the last game, then, then they'll then, change possession. Right. Okay, gotcha. Hall, Thompson, puts the ball on the floor, almost running to his own teammate as he floated but hits the rim. Now Shuffer down, and I don't know if he can finish though. It was off balance somewhat. Johnson could not finish on that play, but nevertheless, Thompson for Horizon. Hall. Goes around the pick set by Sutherland and the ball thrown away by Hall. Oh my goodness. Almost thrown away by Shufford, but Gordon. Smart play to Gordon. Johnson for the jumper. Rebounded by Sutherland. It's cooling down the play. Wow. Now it's a little wild. First quarter coming to a close. Rivers leading over the horizon. Thompson. Uh, he makes it. The three-point special All is not. Right. That's what he came here to do. So, a uh, steal. And uh, Hammond fires one, long one, but ends the first quarter. It's in the back of the rim. Your thoughts of what you just witnessed with the Rivers leading over the horizon by one point at the end of the first. Well, it just goes to show you that you can't celebrate until... until you just can't celebrate. You just have to keep going at it because the first three possessions of the game, you would have said, oh my goodness, Horizon, they're here to run away with it. They did. They did complete their plays. They did start with a nice offensive set. That man there that you see on your screen, Brown, Brown, Rowan Brown, uh, Nikolai Brown, was responsible for a lot of the energy and the play that was happening on the floor for the Horizon. He came off with an injury and suddenly, they found themselves floundering a little bit. The rivers started to roar coming back through plays behind Otley, who has started to look like his original self from the opening game. And all of a sudden now, the rivers have a one point lead going into this second quarter. I'm not disagreeing with you at all. So my question to you now, just from a understanding it for the fans point of view, if the Horizon team, and we're not going ahead to talk about it like that, but if the Horizon team are to lose this game, what then happens to them in their positioning? If the Horizon team lose a the game, they yes. finish second. They finish second. They finish second. And if they finish second, then they will be playing against the third place team. Right. Which will be. Which would which be the is, storm. Which is the storm. And if they win this game, they will finish on top. Right. But that would put them back against the same team. The that Rivers. They know. Right. They're on the ball. 
And the ball is rolling. And the ball is round. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to come up on the other side. Uh, well, let's hope. <laughs> That's if you let go. <laughs> I won't. <laughs> so if you won't let go, you'll be rolling for the entire night. <laughs> So start of the second quarter, we see referee Christopher Richards. Your screen, on the lower end of your screen, Shufford, zero, Otley also there. So some changes made in Horizon team. Bobby Gray back of the court, so to Maynard, number five. For the Horizon, Otley has looked sensational for the Rivers in the number 13 jersey. Noticeably absent from the Rivers is one of my favorite players, Adib Vernon. Yeah. Missing in action. We'll get the low down half time. If it's a low down. If it's a low down. Yeah. So one point differential between Rivers and Horizon. Second quarter. Getting on the way. Black. Swings the play to Parker. Who means business for the Rivers. Cuts inside past two or three defenders. Lays it up high. Rebounded by White. Now Maynard attacking that's the river, which is outside for three, and that's an air ball. Otley. Dances. Oh, that is a wow, wild attempt. As Woods carry the ball up court, swings and find Maynard. This is to Sutherland, who can't finish. Eventually, oh. they get the roll. The last touch, I thought, I came from know. White. They're going to have to share that point. <laughs> <laughs> point five, point We're, five? Yeah. Uh, so. I scored 12.5 points this evening. <laughs> Black for three. Well, they could just split it in two because it's two points. So one for Sutherland and one for White. Oh, my word. That is true. Dish is out. This to Woods. Lost actually. the handle and threw it off the body of Black. Not really threw it in his face, though. But as we see, white. Oh, the collision between black and white. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Completely unintentional. But the sweet collision? nonetheless. The collision? <laughs> no, <laughs> the call. <laughs> the collision between black and white. It reminds me, though, and if I go into this, as Woods for the jumper, can't make it. Sutherland comes, gets a rebound. Woods. A jumper again, misses again, and a tip and fighting. Sutherland finds back Woods. It's a backward, backward violation. violation. But he's saying, though, he was held by Parker. So it shouldn't have been, but if that was the case, a foul would have been called. Yeah. You can't not call a foul or it's not deflected away yeah. and then ask for it not to be a backward violation. Agreed. So black and white <laughs> was a TV back in the days of what just happened? Another backward violation? Oh, Otley stood on the opposite side of the line. He should have been on the waves, the uh, are river you, side are you of serious? the river. <laughs> yeah. Bobby Gray swings it outside to Woods. Was it blocked by Parker, floater, and uh, the rebound by. The man there called Shufford. This is off to Otley. Back to Shufford for three. He can make those. Uh, in and out. Rebounded by Otley. And he'll shoot two. Wow. Otley playing like, a, like, like the Otley that we know. A man with a purpose. Have you ever watched that movie or read that book? No, I haven't. Okay. Do you know the author? No. Okay. Do I know the book? Do you know the book? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, for all you writers out there, you just got a title. A Man with a Purpose. It must be a movie or, or a book like that, though. Probably. We could check it out. Could... Maybe in the black and white days. Maybe back <laughs> in when it was black and white, yes. Yeah. Yeah, and, and I did literature, so I should remember, I should know. I don't know every single book. But... Maynard. So Rivers not shaken by the early oh, runnings of the Horizon team. Sutherland can't make it. Otley comes away with it. 
Hartley goes by Sutherland, lays up and in off the glass. Gets the better of Sutherland and Maynard. Bobby Gray. Oh, and oh, gave it away. No, Bobby. Then to Shufford. Back to Parker. Cuts inside and lays it up and in. Little hesitation step got them moving. So timeout has been called as the Rivers was rollicking and rolling on this Wednesday evening right here at the National Arena on the grounds of Independence Park Limited. Yes, indeed. And looking good doing it is uh, Anthony Otley, who certainly has come out to play tonight. And uh, Shuffert supporting. I'm liking what I'm seeing from this Rivers team so far. This is now a nice ball game. Let's hope they can continue. As I said before, the first time these two teams met, we had a similar type of situation, with the exception that Horizon started off with an electrifying few points. Rivers stay, stayed focused, stayed with it, and continued, and now have a four-point lead and don't look like the team that was flustered before. Well, let's see what will happen. Dunder Barker, you see, giving instructions to his players. The yellow polar shirt. Brewer, who normally starts, is even in the yellow shirt and black shorts to the right of your screen. And having groin issues, have not played the last two rounds. So they're missing two of the familiar faces, which Brewer is on the bench. Vernon is no, well, doesn't not on the seem bench. to be on the bench. Well, Brewer, is, Brewer is not on the bench. Well, Brewer is outside. The well, he's sitting area. on the bench, <laughs> but he's not on the bench. <laughs> Will not be on the court. <laughs> no, no. He's not changed, not suited up. Bobby Gray dishes left and right, swings it outside to Maynard, cuts inside, then to Sutherland. Going around one and finishing is Sutherland and showing the muscles as well, he finished. Well, this would have been the time when some pot covers would have been knocking. A man from Harborview, East Kingston. Shufford swings it to Black, cuts inside. Oh! Try to reverse, did not work out. Parker. Back over to the big Gordon. man himself. Gordon failed to finish. Shufford going around the defender. Can't finish. And it's a Horizon's ball. Bobby Gray swings it to Woods. Cuts inside. Back to Bobby Gray. Thought about the three. Cutting inside. Dishing to Woods at top of the key. Then to Sutherland. Onto the rim. He's been hacked by Gordon. Mugged, you may say. <laughs> As he shoot two for the line. Beaten. Whipped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a hard foul, but he made sure that the that shot bad. made sure the shot was not taken. Which is what you're supposed to do if you're gonna foul, foul hard. Sutherland makes the first. His support staff in the stands. That's Sutherland. Oh, so he does he does have his fan club here. Tonight. Tonight. Let's see if he can make the second. Is that for him or is that for uh, Horizon? He cannot make the second at all. Don't think he can make the second at all. So it's going to be River's ball. As referee Michael Johnson, no, not the track athlete, retired track athlete, no, not at all. He does not know a basketball referee. Black. Oh, bullet pass to Park. Another bullet pass. We see passing all around, but can't finish oh. it. Can't finish his Gordon. Gordon couldn't finish that, but I think they made one pass too many. That ball could have been up on the glass from the pass just before that, but Gordon wasn't able to finish on that one. Manages to end up with it back on the baseline, so let's see what they do with this possession. One point differential. Oh, it's a steal by Woods. Woods comes away with it for the horizon. Put up jumper from Woods. Oh, it's short. And the ball tipped outside. I thought it came off white, not Parker, but Parker holds up his hand. Parker is saying it definitely wasn't me. <laughs> Referee Chris Richards agrees entirely. Black. Try to go coast to coast. 
is blocked by Sutherland. Maynard. Bobby Gray for three. He buries it. Oh. It's Horizon. They've taken the lead. Black goes forward. A floater to God who backs it home. Oh, foul there. Committed by Hammond. As White turned strong to the hole. Well, guess what? I think that Bobby Gray, I the coach is happy if Bobby Gray gets into his stride. Well, Coach Ludlow Barker wants to stem the tide. He doesn't want it to continue. Well, he calls a timeout, though. I think that's the right decision to make. It is the absolute right decision to make. And as long as you can put your team where you need them to be mentally and get them back on the floor, that opening possession is really important. So let's see what happens when they come out of the timeout. There you see uh, Nikolai Brown came out with an injury early in the uh, first quarter. And uh, speaking to the assistant coach, O'Neill Watson, so we're trying to figure out if he's okay, if he's gonna be back in the game or not. Still hobbling a little bit, especially on that left leg. So it's best not to push it. Let's see what happens later on. Coach Morgan drawing up the plays, telling his team that yes, we didn't do too badly when we started, but we need to get it back together. So now yeah. we need to go back to what was working for us before. Yeah. With those with those ball movements, with the movements and cutting inside, getting the ball inside to the big men. Yeah. Can I just say yeah one more? You could say it one more time. Yeah. All right. You can uh, stop now though. <laughs> I was about to say yeah. But no, I changed my mind though. Uh, in the second quarter of the second game this evening, the final preliminary game of the winter season, Elite One Caribbean Basketball League. We're happy that you stayed with us. Have you ever read some of the comments though online? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. I've read them. Not all though. <laughs> In the meantime, Bobby Gray swings to Thompson, thinks of a three, takes a three, and oh, makes yes. the three. Two successive three for Thompson. Shufford. Dishes to Black. 28-31. Parker swings it outside to Shufford. Shufford for three. And he makes it also sweet and dandy. By now, you would have thought Horizon would know that he can make those. So there should be somebody right up there. Oh, a, a foul. Parker going for the steal from Thompson. Called for the foul. In the meantime, Schrader's dribbling skills. Woods shot. Black. A bullet pass to Otley who can't handle it. Bobby Gray. 31 apiece is the score in this second quarter. Pull up three. Rebound. The ball touched oh, really? the line. And yeah. Woods do not does not agree with Michael Johnson, the referee. But still 31 apiece still it's a reverse ball. Well, there's not much you can do with that. The referee was standing right there. The ball actually fell and hit the line before Woods took it up. Hartley spinning to the rim. Oh, going for a steal. That was black. Thompson recovers. Johnson is there like a menace. Left, he's right. Woods puts the ball on the floor. He's fouled. 
by Shuffer. So Woods is almost saying, no matter what you do, you can't stop me from going to the hoop. And Shufford is saying, listen, I'm going to stop you one way or the other, but turns out in the foul against Shufford. I would like to see the referees make the signal for Shufford or Brown when they foul. Yeah. Okay. That's what it is. And the persons watching now can see that. Yeah. They could see that. Okay. They saw the, sim the, the hand is signal that, is, I made just that's now. That's not a no. That's not a zero, though. That's a zero. And that's not a zero. That's a zero. That's not a zero. He's you circling that. Is this a zero? No, that's three. <laughs> <laughs> As Woods makes the second, a one point lead for the horizon. Ball floated down to Otley, gathers well with the left hand and a foul. And I think it will be called on Maynard. Yes, it is called on nope, Maynard. It's called on White. It's White? Yep. Well, at least I'm seeing doubles. Referee just signaled 2 0. Yeah, I saw him. Zero. Well, he said two shots. I didn't see the zero. Then he zero. said five. Didn't see that, the last one? No. Okay. You saw that? Yeah. Okay. That's why I said Maynard. Okay. So he said two, and then after he said five. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he makes the first, though. This is an intriguing game between the two teams. A lot so, of lead changes. Yeah. Our rivals now in front by one. Otley has come to the party here this evening. Have to pick up M1 production on the evening. Doing great work, though, to be honest. Oh, for all, all season, all season. I thought you were going to say seasoning. Oh, got tongue twisted a short while ago. Bobby Gray changes from right to left. Swings it over the key to Thompson for three. Trying for the third successive. But the rebound, Sutherland and Johnson going at it. Actually, that's not Sutherland. That's Lewis Smith. Lewis Smith. Horizon gets the ball. Bobby Gray. Trying to set it up for Thompson. Going to the rim. Can't mm. finish. Johnson comes away with it. The Shufford. Shufford. Wow. Oh, that's a delicate back. How did he get that to fall? He can play pool. That is certainly beautiful done oh. by Shufford. And he makes a steal down here. Turnover. Bounce pass looking for Otley. Can't handle it. And another turnover. It goes the other way as Horizon's ball as they trail by three. So Shufford makes that sweet shot, which I still can't figure out how that went in, and then comes back and make the makes the defensive play. Off, off the glass with a delicate touch. Off the glass with a delicate touch. Okay. Gray, Thompson. The pick is set for three. Thompson, no. he makes it. His third three, Thompson is on fire. Third and five apiece, Black attacking and finishing gets the bounce. Coast to coast by Mr. Black. Thompson. Step back three. Oh, that was an air ball. Bobby Gray gets the play. Johnson is there in defense. Trying to go around Johnson. Dishes and the movement of White darting in. Collecting, picking up, and banking home. Way to finish, big man. Way to finish. Johnson can't finish. And White gives him back. It pokes away. It dives in. And White is on the ball. A jump ball called. And has I'm he not hurt sure himself? what happened to him? Has he hurt himself, though, White? He's going to be asked to and asked for help. Up, 
But he's one of those players, he's the type of player that will sacrifice his body for the play. It's all in the back of his head, though. He might have been hit in the back of the head when he took the ball. So he said he, he, he won't come out, he'll play. And that's a very... It will be Rivers' ball. Possession. They call jump. Or traveling, I'm not sure. I don't know. In the meantime, I thought it was a jump ball. In the meantime, Shufford, one spot in to Otley. Coming around was uh, McFarlane. Called for the foul, reaching foul for McFarlane. Dons will inbound the ball. They're calling for the gentleman with the mop stick. That's an important job, you know. One of the most important jobs on the court. More important than referee. <laughs> well, about more important, safe. I would say just as important. No, I said more. <laughs> Shefford, old sparse. Otley, back to all the bounce pass inside. The Johnson but can't finish. That was Gordon, actually. Bobby Gray for three. Thompson, a jumper. He doesn't shoot them well from that inside. Was too close for oh, him. that broke by Shufford. I've seen him make it from there, but he is such a three point specialist. You almost think, yo, listen, go back out there. <laughs> well, that's what happens. It's Ryzen's ball, 37 apiece. On the three minutes to close out the first half and the second quarter. Bounce pass to White. White is not a ball handler. And he gave it away. What is that for? Shufford up against Thompson. And he's fouled by White. We said before that White is not a ball handler. And as we said that, he gave it away. He <laughs> proved us right. <laughs> Came back and committed the foul, though. He reached around to make the pass, but I'm not sure what he saw. I saw the pass there, though, but it was soft. So he wanted to use a bounce pass to the player at the top of the arc, but it was a soft pass. So it's, when it landed on the court, it just bounced up in the air. But he made the pass to the right, and the player was in the left. front of him. Exactly. <laughs> if he had passed it hard, though, it would have reached him. He Making could have given him a chance, but... Well, that's true. Bobby Gray carries the ball of court. Swings it. High off the glass. Sutherland is there, but coming away with it is Gordon, the big man. Bounce pass to Johnson. High off the glass. John Johnson answers the call. JJ, they call him Jordan Jordan Johnson. Four point lead. Bobby Gray for three. Way short. Gets it back and can't lay it up. But Sutherland is there. <laughs> yeah. Bobby Gray again. He tries. And the offensive foul. Oh my goodness. A turnover from Horizon. They're not looking themselves. They're looking extremely scrappy here this evening. Right now, yes. This is a different team than the team that started the game. How did we get here? And I'm sure Coach Morgan is going to want to talk about it pretty soon. Questionable decision passes, weak, not, not zipping the ball as you need to to get to your players. This is not looking good right now for the Horizon team. Oh, that was blocked brilliantly by McFarlane. Bobby Gray fighting back McFarlane and it's called for goaltending. It was coming off of the hoop, off of the board, but they called something else. Should be goaltending. Yes, it is. So two more points to Horizon. 41-40. Going up. And back it in is Otley. 
Otley is not finished yet. Still doing what he does. What does he do? Score. Okay, just want to make sure. Thompson. Thompson drives inside. Bounce pass to McFarlane, but giving it away. Another turnover from Horizon. They trail by three, 43 to 40. Well, turnovers hurting them. Bad passes, errant shots. Gordon turning, a meeting up on the body of Sutherland, who stands strong. Now Shuffle for three, does not make it. Thompson with the rebound. Goes by one, goes by two, trying to lay it up, does not. But Sutherland is there doing the garbage work. Bring it home. Good move for McFarlane, who has been attacking the rim since he has been introduced in this second quarter. Looking like a big man uh, with a purpose. Gordon for three. In and out. Rebounded by Johnson. JJ spinning. And can't get the play. Can't get the bounce. Bobby Gray. Shot, Shot clock clocked off. Turned off. Seemed like we were in sync. Gray lays it up oh. and in. <laughs> so he lays it up and in to level proceedings at the halftime break. 43 apiece, Horizon and the Rivers. Let me hear from a CC before we take the break. Not sure what happened. There was a little breakdown from the Horizon team coming out of the quarter break, and they faded in the second quarter for the most part. Unfortunately, the Rivers couldn't take as much of a capital capitalization on it as they could as they should have, but uh, it's now an even ball game. Both teams not wanting to give an inch. Indeed, and we're seeing that in those first two quarters. But the defending champions horizon up against the Rivers, 4-3 apiece at the halftime. The Elite One Caribbean Basketball League, the winter season happening inside the National Arena, the grounds of Independence Park Limited. Courtney Campbell, Sean Grant will be back for second half action from the beautiful country of Jamaica. Thank the Lord you know where you are. I do. <laughs> Out. Well, let's see if it will continue. Otley and a foul called on Woods. Go from Otley. And there was a Jamaican festival song years gone by. Stop and go. I remember that song. Yes. Stop. Stop. She goes. She stop. And they repeated that a couple of times. Um, that song wasn't played a lot, though. <laughs> Let's just say that. Shufford, a steal saw that by White. Away by White. You saw it coming. I saw it coming. Bobby Gray ditches outside to Woods. Wood holds on the play, though. The pick is set by Sutherland. Woods with another jumper. Rebounded by Shufford for the Rivers. Shufford trying to go coast to coast, does not finish well. Sutherland picks up the play, and it, the tip coming in from behind. Saw and, that coming too. But no one warned him though, <laughs> to be honest. So where was Sutherland going? I think they were all trying to figure out where Sutherland was going himself. Well, he was off to the races by himself. He took it on like the guard. He wished he were, I don't know. <laughs> Hartley turning around. Oh, poked away by Woods. And White comes away with it. Not the greatest ball handler at all. And Black, the shortest man in the park, five foot what? Eleven. Five foot eleven. That's both the way it's going to be. Horizon's ball. But no control whatsoever by White as he dribbled forward. Well, he kind of just pushed the ball and ran behind it. That's the best way sometimes. Bobby Gray for three. And he buries it. Sweet and dandy from Bobby Gray. His foot may have been on the line, so we'll have to check and see what a referee awarded. Well, 49, his foot was on the line, as you pointed out. So I thought it was a three, but as you pointed out, foot was on the line. 
But he shuffled before, though. He did. He but, collected uh, the ball, shuffled before. And then the point of his uh, right leg ended up on the three on the three-point line, negating the three-pointer. Mm. Woods having a discussion with referee Michael Johnson. Mm. Holding. So, referee Johnson just on the word as we see changes being made, Woods being taken out and Hall brought in. So, it will be reverse ball. Uh, non shooting foul. Did you see the foul? No, I did not. It's a shooting foul or a non shooting foul? It's a... Uh, it should be a non-shooting uh, foul, though. Or it's nope, not. it is a shooting foul. It's an... It's a... A technical foul? A technical was called. And he misses. As, as Twice. <laughs> as we said before, then... As I said before, then, that technical as the rule has changed and it misses both Hartley misses both rule has changed once upon a time you get the technical and then you get, and you get the, ball. the ball on the outside yeah, right. uh, so you get technical and the team that had the ball would have the ball but Rivers had the ball okay a lot of discussions happening Parker and the only time it changes is when it's called unsportsmanlike behavior. Right. Oh, uh, black push off. for the push-off. Uh, so, a lot of chirping on the court. Mm. Greg carries the ball up court for Horizons. The pick set by Sutherland. He wanted it. Oh, Maynard gets the better of Parker and Faz, but does not answer. Hartley comes away with it. Hounded by Sutherland and White, though. Hartley dishes out to Black. He cuts inside, and it's so taken away by Bobby Gray, but can't be handled by Sutherland. But here comes Bobby Gray once again, and he goes to the rim, fouled by Black. He'll shoot two. Well, Gray is fouled by Black. <laughs> a lot of colors on the court here black gray white, white. brown brown <laughs> yeah it's a colorful evening here the elite one caribbean basketball league the winter season gray makes the first do you know that the elite one has a women's competition yes they do they actually had a game here the other evening Does not get the roll, rebounded by Gordon. Parker comes away with it for the Rivers. This is out to Gordon. Gordon thought of the three, cuts inside and tried to lay it in, but rebounded by Hall. Hall dishes to Maynard for the three, and a kick ball will be called against Shufford. That's literally trying to thread a needle. Yeah. Horizons ball, Gray, back to Maynard going around. Hartley can't finish. Black comes away with it. He turns the corner on Maynard, finds Hartley. Behind the back to Black, then swings it to Gordon for three. And that's a huge air ball from Gordon. Bobby Gray holds up the run, waits on his teammates, then that's inside. And high off the glass, but does not fall. And he shoot two. Step up the aggression rate from Bobby Gray. Yes, indeed. He's what they would consider the floor general for the team. So the mood and tempo that the team plays at, he's, temp he's generally the one that initiates it. Nine points on the line for Gray. 
makes the first and the second. Black. A little full court pressure from the horizon. Hartley. Triple teamed. And Parker gets it but gives it away. And they threw it away. Horizon saw Bobby Gray. But Black was running alongside Bobby Gray. And that pass from Maynard was not poor. But, but extremely poor. <laughs> extremely poor. He just heaved it. Parker. Black. Thought of the three. Puts it on the floor. Dishes it out to Otley. To God, pardon me. Spinning and getting the, the bounce. A little lapse on the backdoor defense from the Horizon team allowed that to happen. Bobby Gray put up three. Parker gets it away, floats it down to Gordon, and Gordon lays it in. Four points quickly for Gordon. Caught the deficit, Hall. Floats it to Maynard, and he gives it away. He thought he was fouled, but there was no call. No a, lot of person, that play. a lot of persons thought that, though. And Otley attacking the rim and failed to finish. Rebound Hall. Maynard. Oh, there should have been some contact there, referee. Well, Sutherland even held all scrappy basketball being displayed. Now Shufford around White and finishing. Finally, somebody puts the ball through the net. There seemed to be some contact earlier on, though. Yes, there was. Even Sutherland uh, and Gordon, and even before that. But we're not as close as the referees. No, we're not. Hall, put up jumper. Can't make it, the rebound by Otley. Otley goes by one behind the back, and dishes out to Shufford for three. Parker lines up, and that's a near ball. Wow. Bobby Gray goes around Black. Oh, it's a block by Black. Stepping on the line, though, the jump ball called. I thought Shepard Foot was on the line. So it will be reverse ball. Uh, and a timeout called. They called. So the game looking a little scrappy now. Or let me take that back. The game looking a lot scrappy now. Yeah. But they're fighting, that's Horizon, yes, for that number one seed. Yes, they are, but... And the Rivers fighting for their first win. It so depends on who wants it more. It's a battle for, for the ages. So let me ask you, though. You're in the position, would it be more important for you to get your first win or make it out of the zone as the top seed? If you had a choice, which one would be more important to Top you? seed. Top seed? Yeah. Because I would think, though, I have a psychological advantage over the Rivers, because that means if I beat them tonight, I'd have beat them twice. Doesn't mean that they can't beat me, but psychologically, I've trampled on their brain. Agreed. Agreed. So I don't want to play them back. Okay. But you're going to have to one way or the other. No. Well, if they come second, then no, they won't. Yeah. So you're, you're learning, and that's a good thing. That's pretty much what I do. Reading is fundamental, but yes. learning is... <laughs> Invaluable. No. I was going to say economical. <laughs> yeah. Helps you with money, my friend. <laughs> Black carries the ball of court for the rivers. They trail by three. Otley. Showing his ball handling skills. Got inside. Protected the ball. Johnson with the putback. But come away with it. Parker gets a better. Back to Johnson. JJ. Oh! Not happening. Lawrence says, no. You're not dunking this evening on my team. 
that got uh, Nikolai Brown off the bench and shouting, saying, that's what my big man is supposed to do. Lauren stopped him from coming in the park. Goes the other way. It goes the other way, offensive foul. Mm. Hammond back on the court for the Rivers. Swings it to Parker. Going up against Lawrence. Gets a better up. Lawrence lays it up, but can't get the bounce. Maynard dishes out to Bobby Gray for three. Pull up three for Gray. Oh, yes. And he hits it home. Three more for Bobby Gray. Parker. Screen set by Otley. Put up jump for Parker. He hits it. Not a lot you could do about that. He had the step. He had the position. Made the shot. Woods back on the court. Made a run. Maynard. Swings it over to White. Under the rim. Taken away by Johnson. And he goes the other way. Very good defensive work by J.J. Looks like White needs to get back to trying to dunk. Well, guess what? Lawrence stopped Johnson on one end. Johnson stopped White on, on the other end. Yeah. The block party is on. All fans, you come right on down to the National Arena for the block party happening now. <laughs> <laughs> and the jam session, too. Second foul, blocking foul on Woods. Oh, wow. Wow. Man, Woods, Woods had, had something to say to the referee. Yes, maybe he was so saying, unhappy with that call. Well, maybe though. he was saying, I, I like your shirt. Huh. At that time, Otley tried to back in Woods. Turn around jumper from Otley. Air ball, and gathered by Johnson when he stepped on the line. <laughs> but they, Almost sounds like referee Carlos Henry is saying, I saw you. Yeah, but, but the fans are saying, you're wrong, Sir Henry, you're wrong. Just over four and a half minutes to go, or should I say just under four and a half minutes to go. Over. Under. Okay. I saw the four and a half minutes. <laughs> It's over four and a half minutes? It's under four and a half minutes. But that's what I said. I said it's just under four and a half minutes. I'm not going to argue with you, though. I was looking at a different clock. Turning, spinning, shooting. Oh, sweet and dandy from Bobby Gray. He's back. Maynard almost going for the steal from Parker. But the ball going outside will be... Rivers ball. Brown carries it up court. What is the call now? A foul by Bobby Gray. Fouled by Bobby Gray. Seven point game though. A little stoppage is happening in the third quarter. Parker. Lawrence doing the defensive work for Horizon. Parker gets by both. And failed to lay it in. White gets the rebound. Woods. He gets the roll. And the bounce. Two more to Woods. Nine points quietly for Woods. Hartley. Behind the back. Swings it outside to Parker. Then to Hammond. Are we going to sing this evening? No, we're not. Pull up three from Bobby Gray, and that was kept a big flat. Gray gets his own rebound and lays it in. Oh, yes. Everyone looked like the Museum statues. of Hollywood. Like a bunch of statues. They yeah. stood there and watched him dance through them. Parker can't finish. Woods comes away with it once again in his third quarter. Dishes out to Gray for three. Sets, takes a three, short. Air ball. Not this time. But he's certainly feeling it, and certainly back in his uh, 
element yeah. is Mr. Gray. It was all by himself, though. When the first match was going on, he was just dribbling our first match about the start. He was yeah. dribbling on the side, looking at his hand. Yeah. Saying that, come on, come on, let's get it together. Was having a conversation with his hand. Okay. Well, his hand listened to him. Did the hand answer? I don't know. It's but answering it no. But it listened. It is answering no. Okay. So May not answer with words, but with actions. with actions. Yeah. Gotcha. There you're seeing the. So coach. this is more like what they looked like when they started the game. And uh, certainly they've got a nice rhythm going. Bobby Gray is feeling it again. Woods, for the most part, if I can, if I could say something about Woods, I would say take him mentally away from arguing with the referees and the calls. It's going to detract from your game if you do that, because you're going to be so focused on what's not called, what actually is called, you're not even going to focus on your game as much as you should. So. But that man there, number 51, replacing the injured Nikolai Brown has been doing a good job so he far. He has. I'm agreeing with you wholeheartedly because he has he has worked both ends of the court defensively and offensively. As we see Parker and Shufford back on the court because the Rivers are back on. Parker has played a lot of minutes as per usual. Shufford almost a steal by Maynard, but he'll be called for the fall, reaching fall by Maynard. So it looks like the plan coming out of the timeout for the Horizon team is to give no one an easy passage over the line. So players like Shufford, they're going to get challenged. Players like Otley, they're going to get double and triple teamed. Let the other players of the Rivers team beat you, not those two. A gentleman there in the VIP area, looking relaxed though, sporting the locks. Funny you should mention locks. I am waiting for the joke, how funny it is. In the oh. meantime, Parker goes on a run and finds Hammond going Whoa. for the slam, but it's a blocked. The block party continues, but uh, White is on the floor. White got hurt before and couldn't move. He was stretched out. Something happened. I'm not sure what happened to cause the injury, but he certainly stopped moving as he went down on the floor. The referee stopped the game, though, in their own right. They could have easily allowed that play to continue. He could have. The breakaway play. However, what is happening now, you stop the play because White was on the court. It was a 1v1 or 2v1. Oh, White explaining what happened to him, which he thinks could have been a, a foul call. Referee Michael Johnson not necessarily agreeing. Bobby Gray. Defense stepping up, Johnson all over Gray. Uh, I'm going to call that a not so great decision by Bobby Gray. He came over the line, stopped, picked up his dribble, and had no pass. Yeah. Only person who could come out to help him was Lawrence. Not great with ball handling. Yeah. And that's what ended up in that turnover. Hartley. Hammond. Oh, steal from Woods. Brilliant move. It was from Woods. Thompson back on the court. Horizon. Woods pulling the strings for the Horizon. Dish outside to Bobby Gray, inside to Lawrence, twisting and turning. And got it. And continuation, a chance for a three-point play. Lawrence will go to the line to shoot one. That's bringing out the smiles in uh, Nikolai Brown, who say yes. The big men continue to rule and dominate. Dominate. And I'm not cheering. Lawrence. Oh, that's high. And a rebound by Maynard. He stepped in a bit early. So he was going to get called for that one way or the other. Didn't everybody step in early? No, he was the first one. He okay, initiated I'm just it. asking, though. It wasn't 
a statement. It was, was, that, was a question. Clarification. Oh, thank you very much. That, that, that's what we do. Oh, my word. In the meantime, Shafford attacking and may not defending, but he's called for the foul. So five red, they say, says so may not again. That may be his second or third foul. We'll see. It's a shooting foul. Shufford will shoot two for the Rivers. Thirteen point lead for Horizon in the third quarter. He makes the first. And the second. Shefford has been steady all season long. Woods. Maynard. Gray. Oh, the big man rolled and didn't get it. Thompson for three. Rebounded by Maynard. Oh, and a steal. away by Maynard. By Otley finding Shefford all alone. And he does a finish. He does a finish and Thompson with a collection. Jo Johnson is behind him. Maynard. All on the floor. Parker went in hard. Hammond now comes away with it. Dish is out to Shufford. He cuts inside, attacking the rim. But goes over was Lawrence. Woods. This is looking really scrappy now. Bounce pass to Thompson for three. And he makes it. Sweet and dandy from Thompson. 12 points so far on the evening. 67-53. Parker goes around Lawrence. Can't finish. And now the whistle comes. Two players on the ground. That's uh, Maynard and Otley. I don't know which way to go, though. We see the broom being asked, or the, the mop being asked to come on the court by Michael Johnson, the referee. And you see Maynard looking a little bit gingerly, though, yeah. walking gingerly. Might and be the right leg. Here we go again. With the uh, oh, oh, please. <laughs> TV doctor. <laughs> but you can see him limping on the right. I can see he walks gingerly. <laughs> That's what I see. I don't see, I don't see the limp. Oh, limp is man. an obvious limp. That's not a limp. <laughs> so who shoots? And I don't expect anyone to shoot. How many though. shots do they have? Don't expect anyone to shoot. Horizon ball. Horizon ball. As Parker. Hammond and is Hammond. And How come? Asking what? Referee Christopher Richards, Richards now having, having a, a word with Michael Johnson. Yeah. So we're just awaiting the decision, the final decision by the referees. But Christopher Richards will have the ball. Is he going to give it to Rivers? And Be now. confused. Everybody having a say. Mm. So Richards having a word with Bobby Gray. So now referee Carlos Henry comes over. Woods with referee mm -hmm. Christopher Richards. Well, at least Woods is smiling now. He's had a few occasions where he would have been talking to the referee and not had that smile on his face and ended up with technical fouls. So, no, it goes the other way. So, the, the court was set for Horizon to get the ball. Now, they've switched the decision and it will be reverse ball. That's going to require some investigation. And some conversation. <laughs> Hammond was saying it was their ball from the start. And that's what happens sometimes when you holler and ball. Well, okay. as a player. Oh, and then you get two reverse points. layup from Shufford. And then you get two points. Oh, 
Gray dishes out to Maynard, cuts inside, then to Thompson for three, and he oh, makes nice. me buries it. He just doesn't stop. So here comes Shepard going coast to coast, slamming home. This time, <laughs> he had the miss earlier. Bobby Gray thought of the three. Woods. 70 to 57. Difference of five seconds on the shot clock and a three by Bobby Gray. Hammond can't handle that pass. This is inside to Shufford. Shufford with Maynard in defense. The oh, brilliant pass under the rim. And they counted. Utley released it before the horn went for the closure of the third quarter. I thought he did, though. He got it off in time. It's 73 59 in the scoreline. End of the third quarter. The Horizon, their lead. Come on, CC. Tell me more. Wow, wow. The Horizon team are rising to the occasion, doing what they need to do in the form of putting points on the board and playing some defense. They spread the floor a lot and uh, made the uh, extra pass when necessary. So. Now they're in a position where they're coasting ahead over the river. Did I say coast and river? I'm sorry. They're coasting <laughs> over the river. <laughs> so they're coasting alongside <laughs> a, a, a nice, comfortable lead that they can continue to build and develop on. Now, what they need to not do is get complacent and feel like it's over, because it's not. This river's team is not going away. They're not going to go away because players like Shufford Parker, Otley, they're not going to let it go easily. No. Not at all. all and right. Coach Parker desperately wants a win. Well, he has to want a win, though. I mean, trailing now by 14 points in this matchup. Uh, come on. I mean, you see Lodna Barker there is getting on his players. Well, Very yeah, vocal. Because they let, it, they, they let it slip. And now they're trying to get it back. They were right there with it. They let it slip, and now they're trying to get it back. Um, certainly, Horizon not feeling a loss, although we know that he makes such an impact when he's in the game, Nikolai Brown, but they're not feeling that loss because Lawrence is holding his own as the big man on the floor. Another bucket in the faces of the pairs as we see Horizon back on the court. No, the, the Rivers are coming back hammered. Hartley, Shufford, Johnson, and Parker. That's a five in this fourth and final quarter. Maynard, White, Gray, Woods, also a part of the five. And Thompson, the fifth person for Horizon. Three point specialist, five pointers, five three pointers this evening. And he just earned 15 points. Wow. That's that's pretty much all I can say about him. He's such a pure shooter. Whistle off the ball. Foul call on Parker. And touch foul. Will be Horizon's ball in this fourth quarter. Bobby Gray. A screen set by White, dishes out to Woods. Pull up jumper from Woods, he ah. hits it. He can do that. 11 points so far this matchup. Shufford trying to bring his team back in the fold. Shufford spinning and taken away by Maynard. Brilliant defensive work by Maynard, finding Bobby Gray, who lays it in, was watching to the corner of his left eye, the movement of Hammond. Yes, he was. Parker cuts inside. Whistle coming, and they've caught off the basket. Whistle came long before. Well, White was always behind him. Offensive foul called. And I'm not sure what happened with that left arm sticking out. Bounce pass inside, and laying it in is White. Brilliant pass by Bobby Gray, you were saying before. Yeah, the left arm of Parker was sticking out, so it looked like a foul, I guess, from that angle. Shufford collecting, and the card finish 
because Woods is there with a foul. He shoot two from the line. Did you see contact? No, I did not, but the angle was great for my vision. Okay. That's why I said how I said it. <laughs> Woods called for the foul, and he shoot two on the line. Didn't say he fouled him. Well, that's all that could happen, yes. Yeah. Okay. Are you a politician? Not on a Wednesday evening. Okay. I don't want to know when. <laughs> <laughs> not at all, not at all. Uh, Shuffer will shoot two. Wow, the lead is now 20. Cut, it, trying to cut the deficit, you're saying? 80% free throw shooter. He's going to make more than he misses at the line. Well, at least I'll get that one right. Uh, he hits both for the Rivers. 18 point lead, Horizon. And guess who's doing math today? Your math friend from primary school? Hall, Thompson. Pull up three from Thompson. Hits the rim. Oh, brilliantly done by White. The fine Maynard to bank nice. it in off the glass. Nice hustle play. Otley. Otley fighting Hammond, who lost the handle. Could have been a kickball, but... Bobby Gray, Thompson, Maynard for three. An air ball from Maynard. Gordon, now oh, in. Oh, he's going to be called for that blocking foul. Yes. Seen by referee Henry. Maynard may need to get some shooting tips from uh, Thompson. I may agree with you wholeheartedly. <laughs> Hammond. Shufford almost lost the handle, almost gave it away. Starts restarts, and a block this by White finding Bobby Gray. Bobby Gray holds on the play, goes around Gordon, can't finish. And he's looking on referee to say he that's needs a foul. To stop trying to play for the contact if he's going to be Hammond. Hammond can't finish either. Call to Bobby Gray. Oh, no finish at all from Lawrence. Oh, Not from Lawrence, but from White. A steal from Maynard. Let's Bobby try this Gray. again. And he's fouled by Shufford. Rather than playing around, they should just play simple basketball, some persons are saying. It would have been a nice exclamation point had they gotten that connection have going. Have we had an exclamation point already? We've had some, but this would have been nice. No, in, in terms of a person. Yes, we have. B dot. Yes, but he's not playing right now. Okay, so, so, someone, so else? someone else has to make an exclamation, okay? Oh, my word. So they wanted to get that down and slam that home. Uh huh. Nice little connection, one, two, toss it off the board. Uh huh. Yeah, and it didn't work. Didn't work at all? No. Bobby but the Gray. thought was good, though. Huge thought. Huge thought. Bobby Gray makes the first. And the second, got it out, 25 points, three boards, four assists, and one block shot. Almost called for the fall, though. Black, Gordon, back to Black, outside. A different option, a steal uh -huh. by Bobby Gray. Now we're going to see it. Here's a connection. No, it's not necessary at all. No connection. <laughs> Hall was just lingering around. They had a better opportunity to do it if there. He had they could have done it man, there. If he had a big man, that would have been a good connection. Possibly. Almost a steal. Another steal, though. Rivers certainly drying up here this evening. Mm. We're in the fourth quarter of the doubleheader. Elite One Caribbean Basketball League, the winter season, happening in Kingston, Jamaica. Well, I think Hall could have gotten up there. Gotten up where? Above I think the rim. he could. Above the rim. Even if you go above the rim, you have to have some control to collect the ball as Otley does backs in Hall like he wasn't there. But you have to have some control and some height and some balance. <laughs> All right. I'm not talking about his actual height, but Just height in terms height of when you're in the air. Elevation. Yeah. 
Greg. Oh, gone. A Went for the steal. Light Swings pass it. from Gray. Away. And now a bad pass from Gray. Oh, my word. McFarlane is coming in. And where he wanted him to be was not. So a turnover from Horizon. It's where it's Rivers Ball. Black. Oh, high off the glass over Maynard's hand. Bobby Gray taken down by Parker like I'm watching the NFL. Oh. Parker saying I didn't do nothing. No, he did not. In his mind. <laughs> in his mind, I should say. <laughs> Gray. Black. Defending screen set. Oh, using the screen, but can't finish. He does that. A little more often than I would like to see. God, not in control, though. The ball poked away by Maynard. Almost going for a steal. And almost taking down the young lady in the stand. He went all the way up the stand. Yeah. Like he was running steps. Maybe he wanted to. Maybe. Or maybe he wanted to go say hi. Maybe, just maybe. I was getting there eventually. Otley for three. And rebounded by Hall. All this telling his players to relax. McFarlane swings it to White. Back to Hall. Then to Gray, top of the key, puts the ball on the floor. Black doing defensive work. A three from Bobby Gray. Shufford comes away with it. He's White. bounded by White. Oh, man. White got called for the foul. He doesn't say anything, though. He's not. What, what's he going to say? I didn't do it. And then? Tell them it wasn't me. Give them a shaggy. <laughs> Can't say anything. Doesn't mean that he's correct in saying it. Well, there you go. Well, as long as he doesn't sing, step aside now. Oh, oh my word. Black. Oh, brilliantly done by Black, as my good friend beside me is singing Barry's Hammond songs. That was Black over White. Black over White. Maynard being aggressive, trying to go through the defenders, or the players, I should say. As... Number five now brought on for the Rivers. And Maynard will shoot two from the line. I'm going to give his name in a very short while. Second, rebounded by Maynard, tussling for the possession. Parker falls over. Bobby Gray for three as Parker searched for an Academy Award. He did get touched, though, but not as how he played it off. A steal by Maynard. Swinging outside, Bobby Gray thinking about a three. Goes around one, this is out to Hall. Then to Bobby Gray for three. It's a rim. Rebounded by Parker. As Gordon swings it down court. A jumper, but rebound. Goes the other way. McFarlane taking it from hoop to hoop, coast to coast. Another turnover, White. Answers with the left hand. It's getting out of hand here this evening. Another oh, turnover. another steal. And for three, did not answer Bobby Gray. Shufford. Uh, change his hand while in the ear and laying it in. Got it off with the left hand. Nice touch off the glass. 92-69. Shufford with 19 points for the Rivers. 
White. Gray cuts inside quickly, attacking the rim, can't finish, but called for the foul. He'll shoot yes. two. Gordon. Bobby Gray will shoot two from the line, trying to increase the lead, 92-69. Can you believe it? So referee Christopher Richards throws the ball to Bobby Gray. Lewis Smith being brought on, number 24 jersey for the horizon. Hall is on. Lewis Smith, Bobby Gray, and White. And McFarlane. That's a five on for, oh, rebounded by Lewis Smith, fighting Bobby Gray for three. Does not make it, though. And a kick ball will be called on Hall. Told you he got some hops. Got some what? Hops. He can fly. He's got good vertical. He can oh, jump. Okay. He could have made okay. a dunk. Thought you were speaking about another song. About what? <laughs> Hop, skip, and jump? No. Um, what's your favorite DJ's name? My favorite DJ? As a timeout is being called, though. Yeah, your favorite DJ. I believe that would be Agent Sasko. Okay. Your other favorite DJ from Nannyville. Who was that? You know anybody from Nannyville? Kingston, Jamaica. You got me there. Come on. Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Once you mention hop and skip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who is that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he doesn't know. <laughs> the ding. <laughs> ding dong. The ding. Yeah. Had a popular song with the Young ladies from Jamaica at the Commonwealth Games last year, they were a treat as they were dancing to that song for the entire competition. I could move to it, though, to be honest, but the young people did. You couldn't move to it? No, that song? No, I don't know the moves. <laughs> I'm going to embarrass myself. Yes, you could. I just sit down <laughs> in the stands, Ding Dong performs, or the song plays, and whosoever does the moves, does the moves. Okay. Parker for three. Rebounded by McFarlane. Bobby Gray. Swing it to McFarlane. Then dish to Lewis Smith. Inside or outside for a jumper. Romario. Romario Millis. Romario who? Millis. Oh, Millis. That's his brother. Yes. Hard I'm not sure if it's Romario or Romario. Oh. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. But it's not Millis. But it's definitely Millis. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Called his brother Mills in the first game. Millis is on the court. Oh, a steal by McFarlane. Those long arms. A oh. no-look pass from McFarlane, and that's how it ended to no one. Mm. Bobby Gray takes the apology of McFarlane with about five minutes to go in this fourth and final quarter and this matchup. The final preliminary game, if the Horizon win, they'll end as the number one seed because although they'll have five wins, same as who? The Waves. The Waves. However, the points tally between the two teams that's what would make the difference. Well, that's what makes the difference. The average of points, the two, when they played twice, that makes a difference. And Horizon won the first game, Waves won the second. Ball's pass inside, and, and finishing is Parker. Lots of patience right there. Lewis Smith, Bobby Gray, back to Lewis Smith. Puts the ball on the floor, attacking the rim once again. High off the glass and gets the bounce. So Lewis Smith will shoot for three. 
when he shoot one from the shoot line. One from the line as he turned that corner, put the shoulder, put the shoulder down, got that right arm extended and got it off the glass. Does not make it though. Reach it. Millis. But Shufford comes away with it. Oh, he steps high, steps long, and finishes off the glass. What he has is that extremely long step. He could be a triple jumper. Yes, he could. With those steps. Bobby Gray banks it home. He thought he was fouled and threw it up there. Banking home for Riza Black. Going by Gray. And Matt Farley then to Otley. And a chance for a three-point play. Wow. As he answers the call, Otley on the other end. So I have a question for you. What's the question, though? How does Bobby Gray end up with 33 points already on a quiet night? Quiet for you. <laughs> Not, <laughs> Not for, for him. him. <laughs> Otley with 31. Woo, sweet from Otley. 32 points for Otley. Lewis Smith. Take it away, gathered by Lawrence on the court. Brown, pick set. Pick set again. Lewis Smith, he thought of the three. Hall for three. Oh! Millis makes it. That's that hole. Millis. Millis, actually. Joining the, the tray party. Lots of different parties happening tonight. We got the block party and the millis party. And now the, the, the tray party. Oh, you can call it the millis party, though. His brother is uh, up in the stands watching him, yeah. smiling. Oh, yeah. He's a happy camper, his brother. His brother's team didn't get the win tonight. No. What does that mean, though? Living vicariously through your sibling. Maybe. Almost gone for the fall. Otley. Turning Matt Farley. Dishes off. And jumping home, Calhoun. Two-hand jam from Calhoun. Getting the better of the uh, big man play there. So something happened. A turnover from Horizon. Shuffered to Black. Black trying to dance through two defenders. And the rebound, I was going for the rebound was Otley. He boxed in and boxed out. It boxed it out. <laughs> <laughs> but Otley got really quiet in this fourth quarter. A floater from Otley gathered by Brown. Can't finish. Bobby Gray. Dances, shading left and right. Another float oh. from Gray. <laughs> and that's all the net. That's sweet from Bobby Gray. <laughs> Have to big up M1 production, though, as time winding down to complete the final preliminary game. Remember, on Friday, we had semifinals six and eight also right here mm -hmm. in the National Arena. Yes. And then on Sunday will be the third place playoff and the final. As we see Bobby Bobby Gray taking a rest with his 35 points. Thompson for three. Slim rebounded by Parker. <laughs> Millis. The defense. A, a three from Parker in and out. Kalul with the rebound. Bounce pass gathered by Lewis Smith. Puts it down on the floor. Lewis Smith going toward the rim, high off the glass. But to know, and they've given it away. The Rivers once again. Oh, man. Oh, man, that's all I can say. I thought you were going to say something else. No, it's just, it's painful to watch sometimes how it just slipped away. Lewis Smith, McFarlane, attacking the rim, McFarlane, soft hands coming across for the rebound, but Lewis Smith, but a foul called. 
Davis, number 11 for the Rivers. He was fouled. So the time winds down. Referee Richards is directing play. Lawrence checks out as well. Parker has the ball of court. Thought of the three. Now the three comes, and Otley gets the three. He's going to need a whole lot more of those if he's going to. Well, they finish, or uh, they will finish the preliminaries without a win. Sutherland for three. Oh, that's an air ball. That's Lewis, that was Sutherland, pardon me. So Black can't finish. And the ball coming off the hand of Davis of the Rivers, so it will be Horizon's ball. That was Sutherland for three. I was wondering if it was one seeing doubles. <laughs> no, I think your eyes are okay right now. Mm -hmm. McFarlane. Thompson, Sutherland, back to Thompson for three. Oh, short on that three. Hartley with the rebound. Behind the back, it's blocked by Millis. Lewis Smith. Millis for three. He oh, buries it. He hits it. Two nice threes from Millis. So I'm just looking on, though. As uh, on the clock, a difference of about 15 seconds between the shot clock and time left. Otley for three. And the second successive three from Otley. First, I say, give it right back to Millis. Millis swings it down to Thompson for three. Can't make it. The rebound is Lewis Smith. He can't finish it either. So the shot clock off. Indeed. Shuffled up and under and makes it. Banks it home. He hurt. And Thompson will allow the clock to run down. And the defending champion, the Horizon, closing out the preliminaries 105-86. Over the rivers in this matchup. Your thoughts, my good friend, of this game, the final preliminary. Uh, an impressive win from the horizon. They dug back into where they needed to be and did what they have always done, which is get the points on the board, move the ball when they need to. And players like Bobby Gray came again alive when he needed to. So Though they missed the strength of Brown, they got the support from Lawrence and uh, managed to hold on and keep it together for what is an impressive win in this final game of the preliminary round. Rivers, unfortunately, are still victoryless, and uh, Coach Barker will have to head back to the locker room to have a discussion with his team to say, yo, listen, we didn't do it on this trip. They still have another game to play, though. Semi-final. So let's see what happens in that well, game. Well, they're playing against the Horizon because they're finished fourth. Horizon finished at the top, although having the same amount of wins as the Waves. Horizon getting the nod because of uh, the points average between where the two teams met. Okay. Uh, so, so because of that, Horizon will finish two, one, Waves two. Okay. Mm. And Storm, Storm three. three. And Rivers fourth. Rivers fourth. So you know that the Storm and and the Waves will face again in that semi-final. So basically, and we're repeating this day in the order of play. Yeah, but this time it's an elimination game. Okay. Lose, you go home. Go to third place playoff. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Any final words before we close out? Final words. Love the love the games today. Today was as expected. Great games. I I loved what I saw from the. Storm and the uh, Waves team, they looked very coordinated. They looked very in sync. 
So I'm expecting a good game from them as well. And whichever one of them makes it to the finals, I'm expecting a great game. Champions did what champions are supposed to do. And I'm very proud of how they came out of this one, finishing strong and finishing well over the Rivers team. So with that, I think we got some great bas basketball left to go. And the finals are certainly going to be very exciting. So wherever you are, try to make your way down. Uh, if I'm in New York? If you're in New York, make your way down. Okay, I just want to make sure. All right, uh, on that note, according to Campbell, have to big up our production, M1 production, working behind the scenes. And you hear all oh, voices, but we're not doing the work. They are doing the work, though, to be honest. Yes, not, they not are. Us. And they're doing some great work, too. You had to add that, don't you? I had to. There's, there's some sounds smile over here. Okay. But the fact is... But they're right over there. <laughs> according to Campbell, myself, Sean Grant, we'll be back on Friday for semifinal action, 6 and 8 o'clock. Elite One Caribbean Basketball League, the winter season, happening in Kingston, Jamaica, the National Arena comes to life on the grounds of Independence Park Limited. We will be back on Friday evening. Keep believing.